Hi, I'm Susan, one of the Kiwi Lane founders, and in this video I want to give you a demo of our Play to Create system for scrapbooking. It's a five-step process. We're going to design, trace, cut, ink, replace, but one of the things you'll notice is how easy it is to come up with ideas and inspiration for your layout. To start with the demonstration, you're going to start with one of our uh, border sets. So what I'm going to do is just design with those borders first to get a nice frame for my page. Now I'm using the photo sets to lay out the different photos. And what's great is that you can figure out which size is how many to fit to your page. And then I'm using the photo mats set so you can see me placing it on top. And what I love is that you don't have to mat all of your pictures. And then the mini photos works hand in hand with the photo set. So on that bottom part, I used a smaller photo. Now I'm going to embellish, and we have a variety of different sets. We have uh, boys, girls, but you're just basically going to visualize it as well before you cut into your paper and just see what catches your eye. Now we're going to trace it out of our paper, and I'm using our Moments Full of Cheer paper line. You just take your pattern that you want to trace it out, and I start with my borders. You just line it up on the edge, trace it down the middle, make a mark on that end, and that's where I'm going to do a straight cut with my paper trimmer. Very simple. And then we're just going to take a pair of scissors and cut once up that middle line that we just made. And that one cut is going to give us two pieces, one for each side of our layout. And then you're going to do the same thing with the next borders if you have multiple borders. Very easy. Choose another pattern. I'm going to trace this one out. And then just do the same thing. Make a mark, straight cut, and then cut it up once up the center. So I'm going to do that, went ahead and cut that so that you can see that there. Then we're going to do the same thing with our accessories. So just pick a pattern um, or a pop of color that you want to cut those accessories. And I decided to go ahead and slow down this video so that you can see here in real time how um, long it takes me to cut um, say an accessory and I pit, m picked more of the intricate ones so this flower as an example and you'll notice that I cut around the design completely and then I'm just going to go into each petal separate. Um, you also know that notice that my left hand is gliding the paper um, and moving it and then um, I just kind of stick right there um, towards a little bit off the edge of my, my scissors and um, just give it a kind of a cut. I'm going to show you a fun tip with uh, inking here that we um, make sure to do to help with any blemishes. Now you're going to pick um, colors and patterns and you'll notice that I'm laying it over trying to assess which, which color I think would work for each design. In this case I chose the yellow. I cut it all the way out of my paper and then just trimmed up and around it. Same thing, trying to decide which pattern works best for which design, just kind of that's my way of doing it, laying it on top, kind of getting a look. Um, I also like to balance colors. So in this case, I went with the yellow because I did the yellow on the left side with the birds. So I wanted to do the yellow with the butterfly to kind of help balance that. With the borders, with the one cut, it balances your patterns um, automatically for you. So with um, accessories, when I get to those, I, I keep sometimes that in mind. It doesn't always work, but for the most part, if I do one design on one side, I'll pick something else on the other side. Same thing, tracing it out, cut it all the way out of the big sheet, and then do the detailed work. Okay, so I moved on to the photos, and you can see how the photos um, sets are awesome because they are a great designing tool um, which you saw me do the first step but now when I go to trace them out they're also going to be great for cropping so you can see how I'm laying it over my picture um, and then I just make a mark on the edges and then I use my paper trimmer to cut it down so same thing here trim that one down to the size um, I adjusted that in the middle because because of the picture I realized with their backs I think it would be better on the left side than the right side of that collage of pictures. Now when I have um, four sides that I need to cut down I make kind of like an L, L, L mark on the picture so that I get my vertical and horizontal 
line to cut those down. Great thing also about the designer templates is they're clear. So just like the photos, it works for adding stamping or even like in this case, my title to my page. And last accessory that I missed there and I pulled that green over with the bracket and I'm gonna tuck that behind. But for now, it goes on the top. Okay, now I'm cutting out my photo mat. So I grabbed all of my photo mat templates. I didn't mat all of my pictures and that's the other great thing you can choose in designing. And I'm gonna take my photo mat sheet and um, mark those corners again and you'll see kind of that bracket. See, I make kind of an L for those corners. That gives me that horizontal and vertical direction that I need to trim down. And you can see that just kind of helps speed it up so that you can do all your photo maps at one time. Now it's on to inking. Um, for the, inking makes such a huge difference. Um, again, not just for the pencil marks, but just gives it such a nice finished look. I highly recommend inking. If you're not doing inking, I recommend that you just take a minute to ink the edges. And that vintage ink color is the one color that we use. Um, just again, to keep choices simple as far as um, what color, but feel free to use any color that you like. Um, we just tend to use that one because it works with uh, all brights, lights, darks, whatever it might be. So it really helps blend it in. And that dauber helps on the accessories parts too, because you can get into the, the creases and such. And there's really not much thinking you have to do at these steps. It's really just um, watch a movie or listen to music and just kind of get lost in it. Um, the overall inspiration and ideas you did in the design, so it really speeds it up, um, but still very satisfying. Now I'm just adhering everything down. I did my photos, you can see, so it just varies. Um, that had photo mats, I went ahead with that. And then my borders. Here I'm adding a strip. When I do the back-to-back -back, um, borders, not all the time, but for the most part, it's fun to pop a color um, up the center. And our layout kits actually um, come with some design strips um, on the little title label for your paper and you can cut those out and use them on your design like that. Adding my photos, tearing those down now. Making sure that all works and then uh, just pushing down to get it good and tight. And that one, so one page done. Start with that top border. Um, I know that it goes pretty close to that edge, so I start with that to give myself a good eye of where spacing needs to be. Nope, I need to ink this strip. And same thing. Those strips are really cute. They actually have cameras on them, which is fun for this paper line. You can see how I kind of bent the um, flower on that paper too. That's kind of a habit. And I'm using a uh, pop-up here. On those elements. I used it on the bird and the butterfly. It's kind of just a fun little extra touch for dimension that you can also keep in mind, but very basic stuff that you need. So I'm going to start with left to right, try to get my alignment on those pictures. And that last photo is for journaling. So um, that's fun too, is that you can keep those out for journaling. Now you'll notice that I am right here going to add an extra pop. I have the scraps, so every once in a while I just add a couple extra layers at the end. Um, you already have scraps of paper, you can use your scraps of paper up. It coordinates and so it's not much of an, uh, more of an effort to just add an extra last minute touch and that's what I'm doing there. Love Tiny Charmed, it's such a cute set. Okay, so my journaling, I printed it out on the printer and then um, it's a three by four that was holding my space in my design. Um, and then I'm taking this little sentiment from the title sheet that also comes with the paper kit. And I'm adding that to the top of my journaling, which was a really fun thing to do. It's been a while since I've done that, but the photos can also, if you want, 
save a spot for that, or you can even do journaling in the flower or other um, design elements like that that you like. And then simple embellishments. We add a couple Brad's buttons, things like that here and there, and you're good. You're done. That's the finished layout. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, make sure to talk to your Kiwi Lane instructor, and you can visit and shop from her at kiwilane.com. Thanks again.